So Welcome to Let's Talk About It. Um, we were talking about uh, the hot topics in the media and also the community issues as well. Sonia, what were we discussing? I was just talking about, I was work. just uh, basically saying about, you know, uh, Farian Maktoun, who is... Uh, oh, the celebrity gossip. And the scandal <laughs> that's going on at the moment. And I was reading, I was having a look at this thing on the other, the other day. I was just sitting down having my yeah. cup of green tea, like I usually have in the afternoon. Okay. Uh, so I was just going through this thing and I was thinking, how bizarre is this? That they just, uh, you know, the, the whole <sighs> life is, is coming up in the media. In the media. And, uh, well, I don't you know, know. I don't know whether you call it, you know, dirty laundry hanged in public. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. It's, <laughs> it's the most recent, most recent. Because it's been, you know, there's been something like, you know, the whole story and like, you know, uh, yeah. what, private, how private he was. Not many people knew about him. But the thing um, is, sorry, again, um, I'm just thinking, he's married this. This was a love marriage, wasn't it? Of course Why it is. Why has it gone so bitter now? Though? I don't know. Yeah. Well, uh, you know, many love marriages yeah, go very bitter. Exactly. I mean, love marriages or arranged marriages, I mean, it could happen. It could happen. Yeah. It could yeah. happen. Yeah. And so, you know, basically I was reading upon, uh, how, I mean, this, this the, 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 the main title they had was that the, she was a modest Muslim um, and then she's revamped herself into a shy student. That he she wasn't with. exactly modest. She was just a normal, you yeah. know, Asian Muslim g yeah. young girl. She was yeah. very young as well. Yeah. And then yeah, no, she she's married. turned into a vamp because she's had fillers to have high cheekbones. She's married a millionaire. I'm sorry, but... You and know, then the person says that, and, you know, really I mean, and then a lot of people had to talk about it because she had uh, cheekbones and she's gone into plastic surgery. Uh, and she basically turned around and said, Well, if you had a husband who was uh, that rich, uh, you would. So that was well, like, she well, probably was, was right. Really she, she, was was right. Not, she probably was right. Well, I mean, why not? If you know, was, that's what she wanted. That's right. A bit of pampering, you know. It's, it's, it's entirely it's individual. Entirely but there we go. Individual. Everybody's got a lot of things to talk about. And that's what happens. Yeah, but it's not really everybody, is it? I mean, it's, it's actually hanged in the public domain, yeah. but the in-laws aren't very, you know, um, helpful either. I mean, yeah. I've, I've seen somewhere in the, you know, probably Daily Mail, um, the brother-in-law was accusing um, the sister-in-law. He says something about, oh, we've got Michael Jackson is still alive. You know, she, right. she, you know Michael Jackson lives amongst our family. Yeah. How? Okay. That is so lame. I, that is so out of order yeah, for a brother. No, but they had, they no, had a family. No, you know why? That, why that's come up? They had a family feud between themselves. I mean, he accused she. She accused him of of doing other things. Uh, family accused her. It was vice versa, and it all just went ugly. And then, then she took her husband away, went to New York to live there with him, and then his family brought him back again. And then it just continued. No, the wife didn't get on. Do you know so, what? Do you, you know, know what? Family interference. Because at the end of the day, he's married this, you know, this his, his wife, you know, yeah. this young girl. Okay, he has a right, or they, you know, like even she has a right to have a life with the husband. You know, I, I'm sorry, but I don't agree the family interfering and yeah. bringing him back. You know, because at the end of the day. You know, once somebody is married with a boy, you know, son or or a daughter, they should be allowed to have a life of their own. You know, and I think. Yeah, you no, know, I understand much... that, but the thing is, you, you've got to look. You've got to look at a wider situation here. I mean. He left his family and he moved with her to New York. So Why he didn't it? He made that choice. He was an adult. Why didn't yeah. it work? Her family yes, wasn't true. involved. He never went yeah. to his fat brother's wedding. He, he he never attended his brother's That's wedding. That's his own choice. No, but what I'm trying to say is he was away from his family. So why didn't the husband and wife make it work? So well, it's then individual. Why? Obviously, it's their individual it's problems. Individual. I mean, he they said probably he were having problems. Exactly. So, I mean, like yeah, he said, he he, is it, yeah. Or what about the age then? I mean, he turned around and said. That the basic factor is I am going to divorce her because it was a very unhealthy relationship. Okay. Yeah, but he doesn't so, make it very easy. He's, no, he's accused no. I mean, what, one both, of the other fellow boxers. Yeah, but they, they, were, you know, they were at a, 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 a. They were both biting at each other at yeah. that time. They were both, you know. But the thing is, the sad thing is, they forgot who they were. Yeah. And they just. You know, everything was out in the open, and it just doesn't create a good. Well, I, uh, when breakdowns happen in relationships, you, you know, it's a slanging match. That's right. Way, isn't of it? course, it, it is. Everyone accusing each it? other. Yeah. Your um, you 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 know everything. The family, yeah. you know, everything is part of yeah. the whole kind of you know. The whole yeah, but bubble, yeah. Isn't it? in normal circumstances, you know, that is accepted. Yeah. Okay, by society, mm. but he is a sporting hero. Yeah. You know, he is a pride for the Asian community. He's That's a pride. Right. Of yeah. Britain, yep. yeah, him coming out and hanging his dirty laundry. Yes. I'm yeah. sorry to say, is way out of order. Yeah, and then he goes his to private life. life, 
And then he goes to Dubai. He meets up with one of his old pals,、yeah. who is a Instagram model, and still married to Fariel. And then trying to show her that he's moved on and he's got somebody else, which is yeah, it's not great. It's not great. Yeah. yeah so. so You can imagine what they both probably are getting at, but、um, unfortunately, no, sad, I, sad because it, it、uh, the sad. marriage didn't last four years. I mean, it was four years, and they have a child. Yes, yes, they, they have, have a, a daughter between themselves, so they really、sad. need to grow up and and think about the child's. I mean, obviously, mar- relationships break down and people move on, but they are kept not in. The, I mean, they're not in the public eye because of the children. No, they are in public eye、oh. because you know that they're famous. Okay,、yeah. it's a public interest, but, but, but they're not handling. No, they're not. Hand- yeah, we've had yeah. so many other celebrity yeah. breakdowns. Yeah, that's right. You know, they try、yeah. to be as amicable. And as、of、reasonable course, as possible, course, they actually they, stay. Not only their parents, not only their, you know, who they are, their parents to a child as well. Yeah. yeah. So you know, and it was sad because I was sitting there reading this thing, and I thought, oh God, you know, this is this, this is not great. This is a fairy tale wedding yeah, you're talking about. You know, Amir Khan stated that that's his fairy tale princess. Yes, there we yes, go. Yes, I do remember all the hype behind. When yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, I do. Yeah. I do. Yeah. I do you know, you should have some、that. respect for the yeah, child yeah. of your. That's you know, right. Mother, mother of the child. child, yeah, yeah. mother of the, the child. And the things he said was not very nice. But anyway, he apologised. He apologised on Twitter, and then there was a situation where. Uh, but it's going to get cut, though.、Uh, no, it was a clear. It was, it was <laughs> the divorce. The, way it's going. the divorce that we were thinking. I couldn't believe how quick and how easy it is to divorce a woman in the Muslim community. Or within, um, by saying、uh, she turned around and said, "Well, we're not officially divorced because you didn't say the lark, lark, lark." And then he turned around and tweeted the lark, lark, lark. That, that is、it. way out of order. That is way out of so, order. But they are not. I mean, I they suppose, can't. I suppose them. I suppose they're living their life in the public eye now. That's right. So、yeah. whatever, anything and everything、yeah. goes. Well, I don't think that's officially. You know, the divorce. I don't think that is like with them, isn't it? Well,、yeah. I'll do this, and you'll do that, and then you'd say this. That's right. I'm gonna do this. I'm like she. He went、so. there. He was in Dubai with another woman, and、they're、she turned around and said, "You can't see your child." They're not keeping it. As you said, they're not. I don't think there's any respect left. No, there. there's no respect, respect left. A lot of them lost all respect for each、respect. other. Exactly. When, yes, breakdown relationships. When they break down, it's not very yeah. nice. Yeah. But they've just all yeah. No, you can handle it better. So now、yeah. she's. Yeah. I mean, now now yeah, you, you think of the, the the overall situation is now that. There's going to be a Sonia. Let me correct it because you know the lark is not the end of the divorce, is it? This is just a you know easy way of saying okay, I'm moving on. Yeah, I I don't know what else. You know, Islamically, you're divorcing, and it's easier said than done. But you know, officially, they're not divorced. But the therefore, I hope he's done the prenuptial yeah, agreement. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Because <laughs> I'm going to be a lot more. She's going to be at the legal side. She's going to be, be, she be, be, to be at least thirty million richer. <laughs> that's why I'm. I, that's why I'm saying. So there comes the bitter. There we go. She's going to be losing out. More surgery and more more pillows and more pillows and more. Whatever she would like to do. Yeah, and the best of all, free and single. Thirty、um, million. Maybe <laughs> she might look for another boxer. That's right. Who knows? But it's not that. I、uh, think very look- young, and and also, I mean, obviously, she's. You know, it, there was an article this morning. I was coming. I, I was reading, and she was really bitter about the whole situation, and she was feeling sad that her marriage. And she's still, she's still holding on to her wedding ring. He's taken his off, and she's still holding on to her.、Wow. So. There we go. Well, you you know, I, do you know what? Is we can talk about it, but at the end of the day, yes, she's on the public eye. She's a celebrity, but she was a naive young girl. Yeah. Um. Every girl, okay, even you know, Amir Khan as well. They wanted a fairy tale wedding.、Mm-hmm. Every girl, they you know, like exactly, but、wedding. but no girl or no no couple get married. To have a bitter row and divorce, yeah,、oh, no, yeah. definitely not. Spending a lot on the wedding as well, no, but it does. Oh my, engagement alone was hundred and fifty thousand pounds. There we go. I think then it goes back to the.、Um, I'm, I'm sure you know over time in our communities, yeah, you know, especially in our culture, yeah, you're spending like hundreds of thousands Thousand of pounds, pounds, and you know, get、uh, married, in our、exactly. Bangladeshi community or Asian community or Pakistani yeah, or Indian, we, we spend lots of money. Can you understand that? And then、yeah. you come back to this, and this is it. Yeah, yeah, the but breakdown happens. Relationships、exactly. go sour. You probably okay. They're celebrities. He probably has the money, but then you're、yeah. in debt. You know, if you're just a normal average, you know, average、yeah. Joe, you're. Just, I have. I've actually read something in the Brides magazine. It's, it's such a less time to get on with somebody and trying to. I mean, obviously, people get used to each other and stuff like that. But four years is such a less time to walk away from a marriage. 
Oh, yeah. Did you know that? It's even less. People have been married for six months and. No, no, I don't know. Exactly. Exactly. I don't know. That. You know yeah. what? Um, do you remember what? You know the marriages that they have in the Vegas marriage? Yeah. <laughs> One day. <laughs> One night. Exactly. They wake up in the morning. Oh my God, what have I done? Yeah. What have I got myself into? So. Well, yeah. you know, the original, even within, within our community, we've seen weddings probably just doesn't even last a night. I'm sorry, I've heard of it. Okay, yeah. Really? Oh, yeah. yeah, and I've read somewhere in the Brides magazine, average wedding costs thirty thousand. Why the hell? You know, okay, Amir Khan, he, that's he invest- average. This yeah, is that's average. average wedding. Wedding. And now, can you remind? It just goes higher yeah. and higher. And higher. And I mean, higher. there we go. Even engagement, the venues, the dresses. Yeah. I mean, I don't really that, the cars now. Ca- Oh, well, yeah. It's it used to be the bride and the groom. No, it's it's, all it about used to be the bride and the groom having yeah. the glamorous vehicle. It's now all the rest yeah. of the family are following behind. Family and friends. <laughs> everybody has to have the glamorous vehicle. Yeah. Even yeah. more. Is it yeah. worth it, though? I'm just thinking, like, yeah. I, I mean, I find it quite... You see, personally, I find it quite ridiculous. I know. I, know. I find I it think, quite ridiculous. Well, I, I would say, if it... If you're if you're going to be in debt, if we're talking about just normal individual, you know, day to day life, you're getting on, you're just working, yeah. Yeah. no, because you're in debt. But I think people, some people say, I've got the money, I'm going to spend it. You know how. You, but that, I that think you know, I, I, yeah. you, you know, some people will say, I've got the money, and I'm going to. Yeah, spend but if you think about it, I, I think the, the couple should save their money for afterwards because they're going to have a home, home, home holiday, exactly. Yeah, yeah. 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 pension plan, it is, it is, it is. Why would they have so much money? But there we go. comes down yeah. to this situation is you get married once that's what they think yeah um, and they want to splash out but the cash. for some it's not even once is it so it's not. It's you're going to splash out another so, but i think afterwards then the they struggle wedding. they're living with their parents yeah they're doing yeah. this they haven't got a home and you know, but they spent so much money on the wedding there we go i mean average thirty thousand. oh you know i'd probably say like five thousand is more than enough yeah. It's all about the more people you yeah. can invite. But Do you know what? I mean, maybe one the thing... shift is slightly shifting away where it, you make it personal. If you invite those people that mean a lot, your right. family, yeah. those It's only close net friends. family. Exactly. But then again, saying yes. that, the Asian community, the close net family, oh, you call him, then you call the sister, then you call the ex brother, the niece. And I'm not come. coming until yeah, my so and so comes. And, you know, you and know and what the you situation is. the drama behind that. I suppose that's there a we go. Topic on its own. Oh, yeah. Dear. No, I mean, the, we've got venue near where I live. Venue every central. Yeah, every time, every day, I think twice a day, there's, yeah. a, there's a wedding. It's a wedding and yeah. wedding season. I know there is. It's so yeah. good, though. He makes well, a lot of money, season. that guy. It doesn't matter. I'm thinking, I'm, I'm thinking more you about the actual bride wedding. and groom. You, How long is it going to last? Every time somebody Do you know we went to a wedding there at Venue Central, and me and my family were oh, sitting there. Oh, Venue Central, okay. Yeah, and we, were finished, we just finished our food, and they were literally emptying the tables and putting new tablecloths on because the next... Next wedding's due in the next hour. Yeah. Bye bye. <laughs> Gosh. Yeah, I mean, it's that's fantastic. How busy they were. It's fantastic. You know, like you know, every you know, every girl and a boy's dream is to have a beautiful wedding, yeah. you know, horse and carriage, and so on and so. Yeah, But you know, like dream. this day and age. It seems to be a fashion. It seems to be a trend. It's it not. Is. Do you know what? It is definitely. For me, maybe I'm old fashioned. You know, getting married is a is a sacred it's commitment. It's a personal thing, isn't it? Yeah, yeah it's, it's a sacred it's, commitment. It just it doesn't is. happen nowadays. I mean, no, it doesn't. It's, um, it's just to show I think the generation show. have diverted away from. Yeah, no, yeah, they have. Yeah, I mean, like, it's just a show, isn't it? It's, it's, it's how many cars I can get on the wedding, and how many people, and how many what I can do. And it's, it's just, no, I think you know, like if I if I had a message to you know anyone, I'd say, look, think about the you know the future. That's and right. The future, yeah, yeah, like, right. spend it's less. It is yeah. important. And it's save important. that Very money important. for a deposit because definitely. You know, don't get me wrong, but. You know, all the guests that comes into... How many blessings do you get? I'm sorry. I oh, know. It's just it like, is. oh my gosh, she's got too much makeup on. You know, there's always it's, it's always a talk show there, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> of course. I mean, you can, that'll be another talk show. It is. Yeah. It is. I, 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 of course, all these little families talking about each other and looking at... Oh, you know. Yeah. But, exactly. but there we go. It's, you know, and, it's the dream, uh, the bride's dream, the groom's dream. You know, they get... What about the safeguarding, though? Okay, it's fantastic. You know, like, with the weddings, it's fantastic. You know, I'm coming back again. Yeah. You know, like, Maybe I'm quite, um, 
uh, I don't know whether it's negative or whether I'm being positive and practical. Mm. You know, I don't know what to say. Or you're being negative. <laughs> no, not, not really, because wedding is lovely. It's, it's fantastic. Yeah. But I want, you know, the weddings and the marriage and the ceremonies yeah. to be regarded, you know, with a bit more value and respect. Yeah. yeah. And, yeah. you know, this is, I, I feel that's lacking. Yeah, it is you lacking. You know, it it's all showcase. I mean, it yeah, like, showcase. I mean, you can't. No, so you prove it. It's all showcase. Yeah, it is. Right. It is showcase. Yeah. Yeah. And even the family, you know, what, don't spend too much because at the end of the day you have to you need to teach your children how to respect one you know like the yeah. couple and uh, the bride and the groom first of all they need to be mature enough and then learn to respect because sometimes i feel like like Khmer Khans, you know family interference you yeah. know with luck of the angel don't you know i want them you know like for the couple to go and have a life you know, give them the space, yeah. give them the support, and yeah. wish them all the best. Yeah. And then, you know, like the other thing is, we just jump into like, oh yes, we found like whirlwind romance again, I mean, can't. But normally, you know, we jump into weddings and, you know, um, ah, this is the love of my life. We forget, we need to safeguard a lot of these, you know, like the divorces. Oh, oh I didn't tell you, the divorces on the rise in UK. Mm. The divorce rate here is high, you know, very high compared to the rest of Europe. Yes, mm. it is. So, you know, you get married easily, you get divorced easily, and it's just not, and, you know, like a lot of single parenting as well. It's That's not right, good yeah. as well. That's right. And I think the other thing we should think about is like, you know, don't, you know, let your heart take over because at the end of the day, yeah. you need to save God. Some people the, just don't make the, you know, they just make the drastic decisions and they go ahead with it and they don't think and... Um, yeah, yeah, I mean, I, my advice would be... It happens. Yeah, but my advice would be, you know, if you really want to get married, safeguard your assets, safeguard your positions. It's like, you know, do a prenuptial agreement. Yeah. In, in Americans, you know, I, I really hope he didn't yeah. um, let his heart rule. But people don't tend to look at that. They tend to want to just be with a person for the rest of their life. So well, you know, the prenuptial the never comes into the, into the question until afterwards when, when there's a bit of slag in the <laughs> The prenuptial agreement has to be done <laughs> at least a really month sour. before you get married. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah, I think these are some of the things. Yeah. And, and the, oh, the other things as well, the nikah ceremonies, like in Americans, Khan's um, case as well. Yeah. He must have had the nikah. If he did the talaq, then he must have had the nikah. Yes, of course. And, um, I'm sure they did. Um, yeah. they must have. That's yeah. valid. I mean, within the UK law, it's just really valueless. Nikah yeah. is not even recognized in the UK. So obviously the registration has the to registration be done. Would be you know, it would be done as well. Yeah, but then again, there's the ceremony cost as well. Yeah, no, a lot of people them. don't don't really think about getting married to getting get, to getting divorced. So you know, the thing is that that's what it is. But there we go. Well, what can you say? Amir Khan, not only okay, the wedding, the engagement alone was hundred and fifty thousand yeah. pounds. What about the outrageous cost on his um, daughter's birthday. second birthday? Yeah. What was it? Two hundred thousand? Hundred thousand yeah. or two hundred thousand? Two hundred thousand. Yeah. Oh my God! I don't know whether it's just a showcase or whether yeah. oh, I've got the money. I'm going to spend it on my daughter. Yeah. But can you imagine now with all the slanders, all the gossip that's going yeah. on there? You know, that child will grow up um, and think, Oh my God! This everything's been on the media. This mm -hmm. is what my parents gone through. This is, you know, how are they going to answer to the the yeah. little girl? Well, somehow they've got to. I suppose yeah. when it's yeah. all. When it's all died I down, I think they'll then. both calm down, and yeah. I think I think well, what it, it just it's happened news out today. Of the blue, it's just it news really? today. It's yeah. news. They're in the public I think eye. things will calm it's down, the and news. they'll come to an agreement. And then when something else but, comes along, it'll be the next. I mean, her parents so. have stepped yeah. in. I've heard that he she tried to contact him while he was in Dubai. Her parents have now stepped in, saying, "Look, think twice because you have a little girl." Oh, her, her, her parents. Her parents. Are well, I can't, I can't say much about his parents. Yeah. Her, his parents been slandering and gossiping. But I think what that. it is with her is, I think uh, you know, it was not only uh, everything that um, obviously of his fault or his parents' fault or whoever. It was both of them. But I think that she is now uh, feeling very sad over the whole situation, and she does love her husband, and she wants him back. But unfortunately, he's made up his mind. Well, it well, we don't know that. You know, there's so many, well, you know, like I've said that, then, you know, like it was hacked or his yeah, account was hacked, then it hasn't. So we don't I even know. know because a lot of the things are just spite of the moment, That's isn't right. it? That's right, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. so yeah. you never know. And it's all news, you know, isn't it, really? Uh, young girl, she was what, only 20. What going through and what's happening. But uh, at the end of the day, they're just going to think about the situation that they are parents to a, a little girl, and, and, and that's what they're Well, I hope so. At the moment, they're not doing yeah. a good job. No, they're not. Yeah. Not at all. I don't know whether to say whether they're too young. Too Can we actually blame it on being too young? I think they're just fighting within each other. I think they've just got anger within each yes, other. And anger. they just want to... Bitterness. And that's what it is. Bitterness and bitterness, anger. anger. Once that's all out in the open and it's yep. ended, they'll, they'll, they'll sit down and think. I think it's enough said about Amir Khan. Um, 
God, he's supposed, you know, well, I'm saying supposed to be a role model. Yeah, he's not supposed he's, to be. He's, he's a, role a role model. model. And um, you know. to a lot of young people, girls and boys, yeah. not only for, obviously, he won a lot of titles in the past, you know, yeah. being a young man at that time yeah. and achieving a lot. Yeah. Um, it does, it makes me feel, it upsets me to a point because, you know, a lot of young people look up to they celebrities. They look up to him. Yeah. yeah. They and do. Look, not only are, him, I'm a kind of people do. But yeah. are celebrities and when they put themselves in that, they're, they're putting themselves in a vulnerable position as That's well right. as exposing, right. you know, with exposing their life expo- to that extent, you know, yeah. the dirty laundry in public, as well yeah. put it. So but, it does, it, it's, it's not, so what, it's what, what message are you giving, what, 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 what message are you giving out to, to yeah, of course. Your, yeah. your fans? Yeah, mm-hmm. I mean, to be honest with you, I mean, I'd like to say that if you are thinking of getting married, you know, think carefully, because at the end of the day, you know, the partner, you you know, the, the husband or potential husband and wife is your lifetime commitment. Yeah, it's a lifetime um, commitment, but it can, be, it can be a short-term commitment, so... There's got to be a lot of... Yeah, life is yeah. a bed of roses. That's but right. at the end of the day, you don't need to splash out so much. Yeah. You don't need to follow the celebrities. Okay? Um, safeguard your position as well. I mean, my advice would be, you know, do a prenatal agreement. If you're rich and you've got properties and assets, then you want to safeguard that. Mm-hmm. But most importantly, don't follow the celebrities. Follow your heart. Follow your head. And, you know, make that commitment to one another for ever and end. Um, that's all I can say, mm-hmm. you know? Use your heart, use your head, not the celebrity's way of life. Mm -hmm. Um, We're going to take a short break. Welcome back. Let's move on to our next topic. Meghna, you've got something to talk about which is more into the community issues. Yeah, well, I think the community, I think um, wider, it's a posi- on a positive note, um, I would say. Mm-hmm. I would say this is positive. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, it's, uh, I came across this a while ago as well, and um, it, it's interesting because it was launched, Mayor Sadiq Khan was part of a launch to um, thri- called Thrive London, okay. um, which is okay. to challenge mental health stigma. Right. As you know, okay. as, as we all know, yeah. uh, mental health is still, uh, there's still a lot of stigma yeah. attached to it, even after mm-hmm. all many, many years, and a lot of legislation has changed That's around right. mental health, is still a stigma behind it. People who are suffering mm. from mental health, different varied issues, still don't find it comfortable to talk about, still won't go and seek the, uh, you know, the... Uh, help from the GP or even want to disclose with close friends and family which is unfortunate but this uh, on a positive note I would say um, this was launched last month so can I just briefly understand Um, you know mental it is uh, kind of a big issue in the community and uh, you know wider wider, uh, yeah yeah but I just want to understand, you know, the, kind of the root cause of it, or you know, are they vary. Is it? It's health, varied. I mean, it's it, varied. It, it, everyone's individual. That's right. Yeah. It, it's individual causes. It mm. could be finance. It could be personal relationships. It could yeah. be work. It could. And then again, saying that yeah. some um, mental health issues are environmental. That's right. Because people, you, there could be nothing wrong with their personal life, uh, but it's the environment. Yeah. And this is another thing. Mm. So why am um, yeah. coming back to this pos- positive? Is it actually a positive campaign? I okay. Give it to Sadi Mayor Khan. Um, the launch was mm. to because more than two. I mean, I found this number really. It is too much. Too much. Mm-hmm. Um, a press um, highlighted by the London Assembly, the Mayor's London Assembly, mm. highlighted that more than two million Londoners were experiencing mental health problems mm. across the capital. Only two million then, Londoners. What do you think about that? What do you think? Two million Londoners. Uh, Can I, Londoners, Londoners, not Man- Mancunians, yeah, just not London. Brummies, yeah, the capital. Just in mm. London. The capital. Yeah. I found it. I, I was quite shocked. I'm shocked. I'm not sure. Man, I'm, I'm sure. sure. I don't know. I mean, I I'm knew there was an extent. Okay, yes, issues, we know community there? issues. I knew there was a lot, lot, but two million. Two million, million exactly. Yeah. I think it's the yeah. number. Just thinking. It's the number. Two, two million. million suffering from mental health issues. Exactly, and problems every year. 
yeah. every year. Now, um, the launch obviously is a new um, movement to <laughs> sorry. Improve. Is it two million adults, children? What, uh, what is it? Two oh, million, million people yeah, of population. Of because the people do okay. fall in that as well. Yeah, category. as you know, young. So yeah. um, the key is to improve health and well-being okay. of the capital. Okay. You know, mm. of people living in the the public in the capital. Mm. Um, so what they did, what the mayor has done, they joined forces. Um, okay. with two, over 200 professionals in right. different organisations from the private sector to the voluntary sector uh-huh. um, you know, and clinicians, academics yeah. to come together and have a strategy to deliver. Okay. Six key points I just wanted to point out as well. Yeah. It, it, it's good, it's positive because I feel positive about it. I feel, okay. you know, giving cuts keep on, you know, we have so much funding cuts, so yeah. much cuts everywhere, from, you know. The yeah, exactly. And yeah. something, the mayor doing something positive. Yeah, I mean, we need right. to talk about positivity yeah. as well. Um, six key points is to support Londoners maintain a good mental health well-being. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, also develop a program that stamps out mental health stigma and discrimination. As you know, it could be in the workforce, yeah. Yeah. it could be with family, it could be with friends. Mm-hmm. The other thing is working with schools, young people mm. who yeah. suffer from yeah. Variety of issues, yeah. Yeah. Maybe with exam, personal life, growing up, everything. Uh, also with um, employees, work, yeah. workplace, Employment, people yeah. do, and I'm sure yeah. you know you, we all the have stress of work, yeah, the stress, stress of work, work. related stress, yeah. yeah. You know, and also um, work with par- partner um, organisations, and I'm sure you know um, the suicide rate in London is very high. You know, yeah. jumping off. Going tubes no. and a lot of tube yeah. Even last week, I have to say this story. Um, it, it's not so, I was um, a group of people. I was taking them to uh, excursion. Yeah. yeah. And um, we had everything planned, and then the central line was closed from Bethnal Green, and it was due to somebody actually committed, jumped on the tracks yeah. from my land. So yeah. the whole system shut down for a couple of hours. Yeah. I just got thinking, it, it, you know, do, do, you, do yeah. you see? Yeah. So it's needed. And this somebody's is not going to jump and kill themselves, you know, just without, without a reason. Without a reason and, yeah. and it wasn't somebody pushed. So it wasn't a crime related. It was somebody actually committed Had suicide. Yeah. So all these key points are to um, reduce those. Mm. Now, coming back to um, and what, what the main aim for this is, you know, encourage London is to join in. Talk about your problems. Yeah. Go and discuss. If you need to go to the GP, go to the GP. If you need to discuss with a close friend, because sometimes maybe we might not want to discuss with friends or family. Yeah. Then GP's there. Go and discuss with the GP. How, you know, if you have anything, it could be. You know, we, we but do you have specific professionals to deal with it? From mental health, they isolate their life. Yes, they and right. they don't want to discuss. Yeah, about. They, they oh, I find that as well. They're, they're very yeah. isolated because they they they're very paranoid about their yeah. surroundings. And mm, that's the stigma related. Yes, bit yes, well, that's the stigma. It? And they, when they're paranoid, they don't tend to want to. They just feel somebody's targeting them, or somebody's looking at them. That's mental health for them. Yeah. The other and issue is in... mental health. Somebody looking at them, or saying somebody's following them, or somebody's behind them, and they don't want to discuss their inner self of how they're feeling, and they will isolate them. And that's where mm. isolation tends to uh, get to a point where they. Commit suicide. Yes. Yeah, but um, so mental health. Yeah, but also not just isolations. I, you know, there are you know certain communities where young women they feel it's a shame to come out and say they're mental. You know, they've got mental health issues. That you know. I I find that quite outrageous to be honest with you. You know, people, family are there, but you know, somebody's suffering and nobody can tell. And it's in yeah. silence. Yeah. Or if they do tell, they don't want to talk. Again, it's the whole the whole yeah. um, t- subject that well, let's not talk about it or mm. let's brush it away. But um, mm. encouraging um, the Londoners to actually talk about it mm. and improving their health and well-being, I think it's an amazing idea. Yeah. It is. I mean, there's a dark side to it, but this is a positive side. Yeah. Now, coming um, coming on to a more positive side okay. is um, the um, what the what a group uh, organisation did, uh, Thrive London, mm. has um, last uh, month they did this um, pilot session. Yeah. The pilot session was for, they're called problem solving groups. And yeah. I thought, okay, what, what is this? It really intrigued me. What yeah. are these problem mm. solving groups? I don't groups. know if yeah. the ladies yeah. have heard of I them. I have seen it. So, um, yeah. They're not Basically, problem solving. I haven't heard of problem so, solving. Yeah, yeah. Groups. And I thought, okay, let me see. Yeah. Well, what's it? Let me look into it. Okay. And um, it's, it's basically pop-up little yeah, booths yeah. um, with um, two chairs. And it's, uh, one uh, is the helper and one is the helped. 
So, and it's the general public. So it could be you. It could yeah. be me. I could go sit on the chair. I could be the helper. And yeah. then somebody, if they feel like they're passing. And you're talking to a stranger and if you want to disclose. And um, I have actually seen some footage. Um, on it, and it was positive feedback as well. Are the helpers professionals public. or just no, general public? No, just general. It could be you, me, anybody. Yeah. Just on right, my work daily work day, I see. And if you want to go, you can go and sit there. If you want to help somebody, you can. You know, it does. It's not family, not friend or anybody. Just yeah. the public of the. Just street. basically talk about your problem. Yeah, or it could be that, a yeah. moment thing that you need to um, go in. Yeah. Oh, my next question to your to both of you: Would yeah. you use one? Would you, you go and share Should your? You know, on the moment, spur of the moment, you see the whole thing. Sometimes you can just sit and, and just have a little somebody. chat or something. Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, I do. A, 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 generally, but, when I'm out and I come across somebody and I'm sitting on a bench or waiting for my daughter or yeah. whoever, yeah. I tend to just have a conversation and tell there them about go. what's wrong yeah. with me. Yeah. So it generally naturally does come out. But when you have to be forced into going into yeah. a situation, <laughs> I think you take that time and you, you, you step back and you think, shall I? Shall I not? Yeah. So that would be the situation with myself. Okay. To be not keeping I would always it's... think, well, shall I go in there and sit there and, and tell them about my problems or shall I not go in there? But yeah. then when you're generally just sitting next to somebody, yeah. you could just express yourself and express what you're feeling or whatever, you know. And you think... I, I think it's the culture. Um, um, the other thing is, um, I actually, actually did something mm. um, yesterday. I actually asked. 10 people, sort of like a mini little, you know, research thing, um, like a survey thing. So um, I actually asked 10 friends and family, yeah. would they use one? I actually sat down and spoke to them, you know, each one where I could grab them. And six out of that 10 said they would. And yeah. four said they won't be comfortable enough to go. But saying that, they won't be comfortable, they would use it as a moment thing. So like yeah, you said, yeah. you know, you're sitting in the park or something, you know what, I might actually go and sit there and I might yeah. actually go and... Um, I think what what this is it's opening conversation. Is it every, anyone or everyone? Because you know, like when you actually do, you know, like these surveys, you're talking about okay, you know, asking, you know, is it people who suffer from mental health issues or, or you know, anyone and everyone? Because sometimes I'm thinking, well, if I suffer from it, uh, am I going to do it? But if I'm just normal, would I use it? Do you see what I mean? Yeah, no, I'm just I'm, 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 whatever you know, my definition of normality. And, and the definition is of mental health is it an illness or is it not an illness? Yeah. Yeah. I'm just probably having a bad day. I'm probably having a bad day. In a different way, in a different way is somebody yeah. thinking about uh, uh, loads of loads of issues in their mind or problems. There yeah. are, are they How, going for mental health? Is that yeah. really mental health? How, or are they depressed? Or, or what yeah. is what is? No, I, mean, I, mean, I think mental talking. Health. Yeah. What it is is getting going. It's actually talking. Mm. Talking about it. How do they know talking. though? How did? They, how would they know? Somebody who yes. doesn't, who is not diagnosed as a mental, you know, That's having right. mental health. How do you know? I'm probably just having a bad day. Yeah. yeah. Think, well, well I'm having a bad oh, day. Oh, I'm just going to go. This is another thing. Yeah. 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 It's it's not, side of the bed. I'm yeah. Really. I'm not, I'm not <laughs> mental health, here, but but it's health and well-being as well. Yeah. So necessary. So we need a healthy, health and you know, healthy. A lot of people. A lot of people mentally, mentally, physical. Physically, physically and a, a lot of people well are emotionally drained from working long hours no, day to day routines are draining day, yeah. and they want to sound like personal life, life, yeah. Work yeah. life. It's yeah it's all very draining and you know even to take that few moments that you might know some people i know for a fact yeah. i have a few colleagues they come to work and the only moment they get as soon as even when they go home they're drained yeah. they cannot even they yeah. have, they're mentally drained physically drained, yeah. drained. what yeah. about pilot autopilot yeah, because when course. they get home they're still you know it's the yeah. children if you've got younger children yeah. and some people you know, even take their work but that just about yeah. that just having so a bad day where do you talk no, where, that do you know? where do you that, take that, that, that could out. lead to mental health yeah. Yeah. Okay. obviously the stress I think I think so one thing could lead to another thing you know it's just creating that healthy environment yeah. And also having that situation where it's a, it's a, you know, the, the stigma it, that's attached to it. Yeah. And so the it's in a way, comes along yeah. with it as well. Is it yeah. a subtle way to help yourself? Yeah. Is it, is I, it, yeah. yeah. Yeah, of course. Yeah. What about languages it then? Okay, is it in English? Is it in different languages? It's, because it's very um, nice. the pilot scheme that started. Yeah. Um, there's a, it started with in Camden and Islington. Okay. So they have just gone started. So if you are a you know say you speak Sileti or Spain, you speak Urdu or yeah. um, Somali or yeah. whatever, you could go and say and there might be another Somali person who comes and sees them. Yeah, there could to be. You. So there's no guarantee you that you'll be able to speak to someone. No, you just go in and see. It's not actually a professional who's there. Yes. 
the organ there are organizations who are involved and they've actually it, it's sort of like a, it's a tester it's yeah, a, oh, it's, it's, okay. it's a pilot it's, it's a tester so it's a so pilot it works, to get Londoners chatting of course and if it works uh, on, actually okay. if you think about it I think it, it might it will you know work. Work. I think if you it think will about work. it yeah. do we why can't we just say the odd hello to a, a public person on the do we get no. on the bus do we thank you the driver do we no. say thank you to the driver do, do we say hello to the public woman or the person sitting next door to uh, next to next seat to us no. we don't do we no. do you know what i, I think it will work some because i think sometimes oh, people just want someone to talk to exactly and i think that's you know, the perfect now i'm thinking about everybody it everybody picks up yeah. help line no, and also don't. another another interesting thing they want to digitally make it more advanced as well so it's like the you got your phone if you think you want to discuss something so you don't need to speak on the phone yeah. you just have your handset and then maybe press a few buttons and maybe that might make somebody feel better because some people yeah. are more savvy and they want more technical yeah. things some people are wondering you're right mm. some people might just want to i think it's a great idea I, I think now i'm thinking about it you know, i think it's going to work it, i think it yeah, might work i think well. it's a great idea and it's experts well, have it come helps. together it, it, yeah. yeah. It helps the situation like as well yeah. because a lot of people just gets, isolate this. Exactly. Like I said, yeah. and like with, with the situation, they don't want to talk to people that they know in their family, yeah. and they just rather go outside and speak to someone. And it makes yeah. the things better. I mean, yeah. a lot of people are at the brink of suicide, and if, if there's yeah. somebody there that can just talk to them, exactly. it can stop yeah. them there and then. Yes, thinking there's, of what they're there's thoughts. helplines. You know, there's varied helplines. Mm. You could go on the internet and yeah. you could see, you know, suicide helpline. Yeah. You know. Um, mental health but not only that it's people that can thing. just sit, be there and they on the moment on the moment exactly yeah. on the goal I, I, I think it's a great idea. I would personally I would use one I think I I'm thinking about it. I would actually I might be having a bad day like you said yeah you know, and I'd go in and, and I'd, I just need that chat and that's out of my I would yeah. not brew in my you know sometimes no, that's let right. things brew that's yeah. yeah so that's the other thing I think guys so you know is what? that is that going to be uh, is there overall solution of that is that that's going to they help? want to carry out mental through health other, yeah it's under the mental health all right okay. and to challenge okay. stigmas and discrimination and to open dialogue so london's are talking about it to right. give that you know it, it, it's like a door opening right, that door okay. yeah. to, because yeah. the traditional um, ways of going to the GP and mm. seeking counseling mm. not pe many people well trying to get an appointment with the GP oh, is a nightmare what? so I'm Anima, sorry that will what you just you said I, the, I, I spoke to one person yeah. exactly yeah. They, I was in the queue the other day I was no, the best I ever I don't know whether you know forever. with the mental health issues you know GPs don't refer anymore no, you don't. have to do it online yeah. self referral self referral how many you know what, what happens to people who don't speak English it's it, it, again it goes back to the government so are we, oh, yes. are, 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 we, no are we saying to come forward and, and try these I, I, I would say to the viewers come forward please if you see any any even your whole health, mental health health well-being your physical well-being mm -hmm. it's important because if you're a, a healthier person mm -hmm. physically and mentally you'll be healthier for your family That's right. you'll be healthier for your work your and friends your family, family if you've got anybody individual how accessible how you know how many available because it's london is a big city so, and obviously this was a we, pilot session yeah but there is a website they do have a website okay, okay. um they do have a website it's called www.london.gov.uk okay. thrive london mm -hmm. thrive london mm -hmm. is one word you can go into their website and you can contact them as well right, and if there's okay. something that uh, other organizations yeah. want to get involved uh, involved with they can do that they as can well do that too. but okay. i think it's opening encouraging conversation it's encouraging i personally conversation. think it's encouraging that's good encouraging COVID and yeah. it's getting everybody involved schools yeah. parents yeah. the public the general yeah. public on the go yeah we have busy lives yeah, yeah. we have such busy lives are we looking at sort of rest of the uh, country really as well that, how much time do we really take out for ourselves yeah. Yeah. no Not hardly much. to be to honest do with that. you yeah. I, I think and also you know it could break down barriers as well because you know mm. cross cross communication cross barriers cultural barriers That's and right. you know you're talking to each other aren't you yeah. Yeah. regardless of so race please uh, everyone whoever's watching the show please speak out if you've got any problems um anything I mean, that you even want to share throw a comment our way if there's yeah. any you know if you want about. to uh, look out for these booths are they any color or certain they look like gazebos oh, so, so you've seen a gazebo so, anybody seen a gazebo in the middle of the street in camden or wherever please or, park, or whatever uh, please walk in and, and and experience it both of you, thank you very much. Um, it's uh, valuable information and I think the project is absolutely great. Um, please do take advantage of um, this pilot scheme. It's there for you to utilize it. So, you know, by all means, take advantage. Um, also, if you have any comments on this show, please do let us know.
on Let's Talk About It at lb24.tv. Until next time, goodbye.